So what did the photographer say to his wife before they were married? I can really picture us together. <laughs> Besides learning tech stuff from me, you guys are learning some nice pickup lines at the same time. Let's get started with the best compact cameras and of course to see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these compact cameras, you can check out the links in the description below. The very first camera is from never going down by any means type of brand, the Sony RX107 best overall. Sony, the enthusiastic brand also known as Ants in Pants, seems like they never fail to create even better options and quality to the users. They earn every praise that comes from customers. As usual, Sony is not into massive changes when it comes to design. It's usually classic black color with minor touchings on the texture, which is more intense compared to previous ones. It gathers all the necessary needs of the camera. The LCD touchscreen is included to make it an easy control of settings and make sure you receive the best comfort by building it flippable up 180 degrees. The first impression of the camera is being less heavy, smaller compared to its siblings. It has 20 megapixel camera packed with a CMOS sensor. Sony's autofocus impresses us with the accurate real-time tracking autofocus. Excellent choice for family and travel photography. Even though the lighting is poor, you can shoot a maximum quality picture with a sharp zoom range. Having 4K quality video shooting mode, this camera has a great hit rate at 20 FPS and it is so easy to shoot with your hand. The very specific feature of Sony's Log 3 is providing better reproduction of gradation characteristics in shadows. Post-production, editing like short videos or movie edits can be done inside the settings. It also has the face and eye detection which works very well during the video capture. Using the tracking mode, you can shoot a moving object and while it's tracking, you just have to simply tap the touch screen to assign a new object. The next camera is from having the same idea at the same time. Well, great minds think alike. Of course, it is the Fujifilm X100V, which we categorize it as the best runner-up. The Fujifilm company expanded itself and reached a desirable reputation all over the world. They know how to stay updated to the constant changing of trendy technology. Seems like Fujifilm cares a lot about its look. It takes great pains. It is one of the coolest designs that I've ever encountered in such a small sized camera. The top and the bottom plates are aluminum and the front of the body has a textured satin finish. We can see that it is built for long term use. It also includes the most required feature, the LCD flippable touchscreen panel. With that, you can flip the camera and start shooting anything you prefer at any angle and OLED helps you see what the heck are you shooting during the sunlight. I can't pass without mentioning that it is weatherproof. It works excellent in any given condition. It has 26 megapixel camera pack with an X-Trans sensor. The autofocus system includes even the smallest and distinct details where it's manual and you can change whenever you want, but remember it doesn't come with many customizable settings. It works excellent even in a low lighting atmosphere, doesn't matter indoor or outdoor. The predicted face and eye detection feature captures any movement of a particular subject. With this camera in your hand, you can create stunning 4K videos at 30 frames per second and you can also record in slow motion footage by using the camera's full HD 120p setting. Well, I have to say that the wide angle feature is the best for landscape nature photography where the static objects have excellent results in 4K videos. The next camera comes by the best competitor to any brand out there, the Canon PowerShot SX740 HS, which we categorized as the unbeatable value for the price. Canon, also known as one of the best brands in the market, zooms in and catches what they lack. And next time you won't be able to come across the same issue. You'd be excused for believing that smartphones have killed the traditional tiny cameras. But here comes Canon with simplified settings be where beginners and snap shooters will appreciate it more. The traditional type of camera comes in two colors, the black and silver one. Within a look, you notice that the body is covered in plastic material. The right side has a piece of leather to spice up the design a little bit. It doesn't have a viewfinder lens, but the LCD screen panel is movable to provide you an any shooting experience at 180 degree flip option. You can use it in vlogging, taking selfies, and in object moving videos, the extreme zoom capabilities. The 20.3 megapixel camera is packed with a CMOS sensor. The autofocus is pretty quick and precise, especially when you are in a wide angle use. It gives the face detection and tracking options, and it does a really good job keeping up with higher priced cameras in the market. 
Without any doubt, they added 4K video quality too. If you are shooting continuously at high speed, it can take at 7.4 frames per second. However, with the autofocus lock, it can take up to 10 FPS. The color tones, sharpness, and saturation are in perfect amount to give the video brighter, pleasing colors. Canon's camera connectivity has one of the easiest ones to use. Transferring the images or videos from the camera to your iOS and Android, which pretty much everyone uses. And when it comes to the price point, I would say, just go for it. The next in the list, we have the cherry on the top that garnishes the cake. With its eye-catching quality and look, the Nikon ZFC DX, which we categorized as the best design. There's no chance of not including this always on the spot Nikon when something has to do with the camera. Almost every product comes with a large number of updates before it gets released. With the splendid design, the pattern ZFC DX spreads the retro vibes with the leather black cover across the camera. On top of silver, details can be seen to finish the look. It has a relatively comfy yet portable design that will make vlogging or shooting even intricate films easy for beginners. It has a 20.9 megapixel camera led by a CMOS sensor. The afterfocus involves face and eye focus letting you manage exactly how to look at the subject. This feature is available in all areas by pressing the auto mode, which means the camera automatically picks the subject for you. For example, let's say there are many people in the background. It catches all of them at the same time. The OLED viewfinder with a touch screen provides you with a better sight during your vlogging experience or posing experience. With full after focus, you can burst shoot up to 11 frames per second. And when it comes to video shooting, the 4K Ultra HD can handle 30 frames per second. Another feature they included is their stereo microphone, external microphone and live stream uh, compatibility. The main feature of this camera is that it allows you to transfer images directly to your phone after downloading Nikon's free Snapbridge software, which is compatible with all smart devices. And lastly, we have the battery life. You can shoot 300 shots in both modes. It doesn't matter whether it's LCD or EVF, which comes with rechargeable power. The final yet important camera of the video is from the Ricoh gr 3rd and we categorized as the best entry level. Ricoh managed to raise its voice more and more nowadays and in the technology world. Following the newest trends, they somehow keep up with the massive changes that technology brings. With an even more pocketable design, Ricoh created this gorgeous camera and reduced the external controls. Following the slightly textured structure, the camera's body is covered in classic black material called sea surface or chamfer which means you have direct contact with your finger. On the right side, we can see a little leather material in order to appear more aesthetic. The 24 megapixel camera in the format of a CMOS sensor helps for the quick achievement of high quality images. Even if little shaking appears, the camera is still able to take clear images even in lower lighting conditions. It has a touch sensitive LCD screen panel led by GR3 engine to make the easiest control of the menu to focus and shutter sound releasement. Featured with hybrid autofocus, it can detect any human or animal face, which is noticeably improved compared to previous ones. But remember, in the low light conditions, some difficulties may occur. When it comes to video shooting, the camera's highest resolution is 1080 pixels at 60 frames per second. There are no 4K options, which is pretty reasonable and great for amateurs who shoot occasionally. Another thing is that camera is locked on P mode during the video recording. However, if you do not plan to use the GR3, there's a Wi-Fi button on the side where you can have access to other customizable settings. And that is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions about the products mentioned in this video, you can leave a comment down below in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Until the next video, stay safe, take care, and peace out.